If you're just coming off your learner license and you're looking for a new bike, I've got the one for you. It's the Yamaha MT-07. Now, you might say the Yamaha MT-07 is a learner bike. Well, it is, but not this one. This is the high output model. So the MT-07 was originally released overseas in this higher spec model, but for Australian lambs conditions, they had to uh, reduce the, the bore by two millimetres in each cylinder to get it down to 655 cc's, and they also tamed the throttle with a restrictor. Uh, on this high output version, which is available now in Australia, it's full power, full fun. Radio, off to ride the MT-07 HO. Just going to take this onto the highway for a quick, a quick little dash before uh, taking it through twisties and then into a bit of city traffic. So first things first, let's get around this nice sharp corner. And the thing just takes off. Now we're just below the open road speeds here. There's no wind buffeting at the moment, it's, it's actually quite comfy. And the bike's obviously got no problems with that freeway speed. As long as you do as well, I suppose, with the wind, when you start to go a bit faster. Coming up through this twisty section of road that Cycle Talk viewers might find pretty familiar from just about every video we've ever done. You can see when the traffic opens up, the MT-07 just comes into its own. It's a great little city bike. Get it underneath 30. Up in the middle lane here. And away we go. Gets out in front of traffic, no problems. Sneak past this Yamaha have gotten the geometries of the MT-07 spot on. It's the perfect mix of adrenaline and control. Once again, under 30, filter the traffic. Blinker on, get away, opens up, and we're out in front again. Now interestingly, Yamaha's decided not to give the uh, HO version ABS brakes, where the MT-07 Learner approved version has. Chuck a ride up here and take it towards the beach, one of my favourite places in Newcastle. And the brakes are fairly strong. And provide a good bite. But there's no ABS. Coppers are usually always up here, so if you're ever in town, Make sure you're not carrying on like a pork chop around here. The MT-07's uh, parallel twin engine, which has uh, got Yamaha's cross-plane crankshaft technology in it, which is the same on the, uh, the R1. Essentially, in a parallel twin engine, it, uh, it gives it a 270-degree firing angle, like a V-twin. So it does 
feel like a V-twin when you're riding it even though it's a parallel twin. Yamaha standard exhaust might just tame that a little bit, but I think the Apropovic accessory exhaust would sound fantastic. I wonder if I should use my hands when I talk to the camera like this so it looks like I'm actually saying stuff and when I've got both hands on the bars you probably can't tell that I'm saying anything it just looks like there's someone with a head talking it's just cruising down here towards iconic Merriweather Baths, Merriweather Beach Bar Beach up towards Cooks Hill that's where all the arty people hang out slow speed manoeuvres dab at the back brake once again, the response is fantastic from the MT-07. A couple of good sorts walking along the beach. Pico will be pretty envious right now. A couple of dogs too. You look down at the MT-07 to see how fast you're going, and there's pretty comprehensive instruments. We've got a gear position indicator, temperature, fuel gauge, obviously speedo on a taco. I think with the press of a few buttons we can get some trip meters, average fuel and litres per 100 kilometres, which at the moment we're going through three and a half litres 100 kilometres, which is pretty good. A couple of waves out today then I'll be Tell me all about his surf, the Savo. It's actually pretty good. Couple of ladies crossing. Better not hit them. It's those little twisty moments like this that you really enjoy the MTA 7 HO. And the speed in which it tips in and the cross plane crankshaft technology which gives it a great bottom end, it just pulls out of the corners really well. I don't think I can help myself, I've got to, I've got to take it around King Edward Park, it's one of the twistiest sections of road and uh, home of the Matari Hill Climb which had its last year this year which is very sad but things are starting to progress a bit in Newcastle and I guess it's just one of those things I don't know what one of those things are but whatever it is it's just one of them We get a cruiser nod. Yeah, there we go. Good on her. Look at these in the bike car parks. Bunch of fucking No respect. So the twin disc four piston calipers do a great job of pulling the bike up. They stick like glue. But in 2015 to not have the option of ABS is a bit mind boggling really. And a lot of people graduate from their learner license, they move on to a Super Sport 600 bike. But I think this will be a much better alternative. You'll find it's much comfier on the road. It mightn't be as fast on the racetrack, but you mightn't take it there. But I think the benefits that you will find on the road will outweigh that Super Sport 600 option. For $10,000, the MTO 7 HO provides more fun for money than just about anything else on the market. I'm just gonna go and get on it. <laughs>